you were looking at the Stellarator. And we've all heard of CERN. We've heard of the potential and the capabilities of what that kind of technology can do in everything that they keep in the secret. We have this new machine that has taken 19 years to complete that deals with a clean form of nuclear fusion. This is something they've dreamed of for a long time. And after all this time and 1. million construction hours, this $1.1 billion machine is set to fire up for the first time. Check this out. This is the building process. Everything that goes into this. Look at that. All of those parts are needed to be put into place after all this time just to get this thing to work right. I mean, it looks like madness. But apparently, it's working. Or believed to be in a working phase. They're not going to know for sure until they fire the thing up. You can see how the energy coils around this going through it. Right there with the whole outside being the protective outer shell, as you can see here. And it's based on having these magnetic coils, as you just witnessed, that are strung all the way around this. Now, tokamaks have been considered to be the most promising machine for producing energy in this way, in the way that the sun does, uh, for the longest time because of the magnetic coils that it contains. But with these tokamaks, they can only control the plasma in short bursts that usually last no longer than seven minutes. With this new technology, they're saying that they can get these bursts to last a lot longer and to set records from here on out and to continue to build on it with this technology once they get this thing fired up. But a new form of how we could use energy and create this energy has been brought up through this machine and like I said it's taken 19 years to complete this thing we're not going to know really what happens until they flip the switch and fire the thing up which could also spell disaster if things aren't connected the right way but they have a lot of faith in this it's taken a lot of time a lot of money and this could really be revolutionary when trying to find another way to get energy when dealing with nuclear fusion and not really dealing with the nuclear radiation and aspects that you see when you're dealing with just straight old, straight old nuclear material. You know, this is a different process. We'll see where it goes from here, and we'll see what amounts of energy can be pr produced from this, and if it's worth it in the end. I'll leave a link. It's Bendabu7.